so good morning and welcome back as you can see it's rather cloudy but it's uh, opening up which is quite nice uh, as you seen already or as you might see here I uh, put the Iconic Parts uh, screen spacers together with the original screen plus uh, you can see it in the shot I have uh, the Iconic Parts uh, GPS mount on and uh, it's uh, super easy to mount so it's, uh, it's no issue at all uh, it's actually yeah, I think one of the most uh, easiest uh, GPS mounts to mount to the Multistrada 950 uh, it's basically just clip in with two screws and uh, yeah it's it's super simple and uh, super easy now hello I'm Nikolai welcome to Spoke Wanderer let's roll Hello and welcome back. As you can see, I have something uh, which I just got from uh, Iconic Parts. Now, uh, some time back, I made the review of the Tour Attack uh, touring screen for the Multistrada 950. Now, for the touring screen or aftermarket screens, Iconic Parts uh, do different spacers. They are also V3, they have also screws, but they look a little bit different. So these are the ones for the original uh, Ducati uh, windscreen. Now, they are the original ones for the Ducati Multistrada windscreen. Now, a lot of you have asked, uh, how are they with the original screen? And, uh, well, unfortunately, I couldn't answer your question by then. Now I've got them, let's mount them and uh, try them out and see how they are. So, as you can see, these are the ones which I got first, I bought them. And when you just see the lower one, uh, here I think you can see it quite nicely. They have this pin and they are just flat, yeah. And also Versa versus uh, the upper ones, they have also still uh, a small top on here. Now, um, these were the ones which I had before, and these are basically are the ones which I uh, got from Iconic Parts, uh, sent uh, to me. Uh, now, let's go into the installation, and uh, then you can see, because also there is not much material on how to install these things, and if there is any tricks or anything missing with it. So, let's dig into it. Now, as you can see, I removed already the screen. Okay, so this is this is how it looks now roughly without the screen. What you see here is the original Ducati uh, GPS mount bracket. From Iconic Parts was also so kind to uh, send me uh, theirs, which is I think also printed or cut. Uh, and uh, I will also film the installation of that one. So we have both uh, Iconic, part, uh, Iconic Part parts uh, covered in this video. Um, it looks quite nice. Let's see if I can have the mounting bracket as well, which is uh, actually done for the, uh, for the uh, Ducati mount. Uh, but uh, this we talked during the video. Now, as you can see, I took the Ducati bracket, which is uh, this one, which is basically stuck on. Uh, I took it off, which out of metal. And uh, then you have this uh, hole here. Now, uh, from Icony parts, it's basically two parts. One goes from here underneath, as you can see, which fits quite snug, which fits very nicely. Then you have here actually two screws. Yeah, you know, from here and here, you just basically put it through. And then from underneath, you have this uh, counter things which hold it in place. Now I know a lot of you will say why they didn't make it in uh, black because you may see it and so you know, honestly um, take a pen or take a water resistant pen and paint them black if you like. Well, I think they will do. So basically I just have to tighten them and then uh, they should fit. As you can see, I have still the back plate of uh, the Multistrada mount and I have to basically unmount here everything and put it on this connector uh, which is then fixed here uh, in, uh, on, on, on the Iconic Parts mount. So let's uh, yeah, give me a minute and I dismantle it and then let's see if 
we managed to put it back together or uh, if I can't use the dumper stand anymore because the connectors still don't work with uh, uh, the, the, the plate so but let's see so now as you can see it's roughly mounted so the side brackets you put in with the screw then uh, you have the plastic nipples or these rubber nipples in you stick this in on both sides and underneath here it's just basically uh, plug and play and uh, now we need to fix these two parts now as you can see you have one bigger uh, down here which is a bit taller as i showed you at the beginning and you have uh, this one uh, here now when you see let's go to the seat when you see this is a normal allen key and uh, i had two and one i shorted uh, shortened a bit because let's try this one when you go here in between you see it's it's uh, it, it is extremely tight and you might scratch uh, your windscreen now with this one you see you have enough space in between now this would be nice if uh, Iconic part would uh, provide uh, this little piece, uh, this little gadget along. Charge one uh, euro more uh, or one pound, whatever, uh, but I think uh, it's quite handy uh, for uh, us users. I mean, other than that, I'm going for a spin uh, quite soon. Try it out, uh, also see uh, with the GPS mounted how it's gonna be, and uh, then I'll be back with more information. I have uh, the Scorpion. 80x1 or 8950 how they call it in the states and uh, in other countries and i have the peak on and uh, yes you still have a little bit of uh, wind noise well we know the scorpion is not the quietest helmet and you're still with the new thingy now where is it you still can uh, put it up and uh, when you have the screen on the highest position you almost eliminate uh, the wind noise so it becomes really really quiet behind the helmet and uh, now I have 90 let's see how if we have some buffering when we go a little bit faster so I have 150 now I don't feel any buffering the only thing is uh, I think when I go for high speed I have to remove the peak off from the helmet and then it should be absolutely fantastic uh, I have no turbulences behind uh, the screen, so in front of me when I have in the highest position. Uh, so I really like it. I mean, it's definitely a game changer. Uh, compare uh, original screen without the iconic parts uh, screen spaces. Now let's uh, find a quick space to uh, stop, and then I show you a bit in detail uh, close up. So. As you can see, I have here the original screen and uh, in the close-up while driving, uh, you've seen the iconic parts uh, screen spacers. Uh, they were kindly provided uh, from iconic parts for me, so I didn't pay for them. And uh, I communicated already with them on the pros and cons. And uh, uh, most likely you've seen it also uh, already in the video of the Touratech windscreen, which I made a couple of uh, videos back. Uh, there I had them. Now these are the ones which are for the standard uh, screen. The other ones they are for aftermarket screens, MRA, Buick, uh, you name them. Um, so they're a little bit different, uh, but you see as well uh, what it is. Now um, I got uh, a sponsoring as well, the GPS mount uh, from Iconic Parts, which is absolutely geniusly engineered. But uh, let's uh, take a little close up and uh, you see a bit more. As you see, so as you see, it's not a big uh, difference. Um, here you see, it, I think, I hope you see it nicely. It's a, it's a good uh, uh, little bit up. Okay, the screen is now in the uppest position. Let's put it down. Uh, it's a little bit more space down here, so wind uh, may go under a bit uh, more. Uh, I hope you see nicely here, this uh, is the GPS mount. It's basically only mounted on these two screws. It's a clip in in the hole in here, which is super easy. Here you can see nicely uh, the distance. 
in regards of the GPS mounts, it goes basically with a plate down here and here you basically have these two screws and uh, then it's fixed. Yeah, You have one adjuster screw up here uh, and then uh, certainly you have this arm. This was a little bit of a challenge because I <laughs> I lost somehow the screws because I wanted to to use again uh, the what is called the uh, vibration numbers. Now I'm not sure how they hold because uh, you see um, it's quite shaky. So I'm not sure how this will last for off road. Um, it is a bit more uh, shaky than uh, the original Ducati mount. Uh, but uh, definitely it's an elegant solution. Uh, I think this is also 3D printed or cut, I'm not sure. Uh, definitely you have a little bit more adjustability. Now uh, I should shorten the screws here a bit because you have, uh, I mean this is one, this is uh, uh, the, the screw so you can loosen it, you can adjust it up and down. Uh, you have these three points where you can put them in, so you can bring it closer, you can put it upside down, uh, but uh, for now I have it like that, otherwise it comes too close down and uh, visibility is absolutely fantastic. You see as well, you can uh, bring it a bit up and down, uh, so it uh, depends if you have uh, here and there some uh, reflections from the sun, so you can adjust it uh, for you as well. Now it uh, is very sleek and yeah, uh, I like it. Now the screen spaces, they are around 30 pound uh, and I think it's worth uh, to buy them uh, as you seen in the driving video. I mean I have the peak on and uh, in the low position yes you get uh, wind noises because the wind goes directly. I'm uh, 6 foot 1, uh, 183 centimeters, uh, so not that tiny. Um, but if you put the screen to the highest position, which is already, um, I mean, no issue at all. Also, when you go high speed, uh, uh, it's absolutely fine. So 30 pounds for this one. Now, this uh, Satnav mount is, I think, uh, 70 pounds at the moment. Uh, it's, in my opinion, the most easiest uh, to install. Uh, they produced another one as well, which is similar to the original uh, Ducati mount uh, picture up here, um, which is in the same price range. And uh, now they made also a different bracket in the front. Uh, as you know, the new Multistrada V4 has also these winglets, and uh, these are the first uh, ones to develop uh, a complete uh, 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 fairing, so to say, or a bracket, uh, including the spacers, which has also winglets, so uh, it fits uh, on, I think, all latest Multistrada models, be it the 950, be it the 1200, and be it the 1260. And yeah, I think this is quite interesting. Well, uh, there, uh, this I can't show you at the moment, uh, the price for the full set uh, is, I think, 130 or 140 uh, British pounds. Uh, but uh, definitely a sort uh, to have, um, but uh, this may be on a later stage. Now I'm very happy with these uh, screen spacers, um, this Allen key, they could have uh, included and charged uh, a euro or a pound more, uh, so uh, we uh, don't uh, challenge ourselves uh, maybe scratching uh, the screen. Uh, so I shortened it uh, uh, for about 50 mil and uh, it worked absolutely perfect. Now as mentioned, uh, these parts uh, I got sponsored uh, by Iconic Parts. And uh, I mean why he did uh, or how did he design it? He owns the Multistrada and he has the V4 and so there's uh, many more gadgets to come which are very useful, uh, well engineered and uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. So responsive, uh, if you have a challenge, uh, you always get an answer as well. Uh, uh, this is sponsored by Iconic Parts uh, for me, so, but I really like it. I mean, if you're going to try it, uh, I'm pretty sure you will love them too. Uh, so yeah. Leave me a comment down below, yeah. hit uh, the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and I see you soon back here on my channel. I'm Nikolai, your Spoke Wanderer. Ciao for now.